The truth hangs heavy upon the air itself, unspoken. This is the point of no return. Somewhere beyond this point, you shall be undone, or you shall ascend. There is no middle ground. You did, but you just released a source blood. I thought I'd come and see what all the fuss was about. Should have known you were getting yourself into trouble. Looks like the big moment has finally arrived. I will do everything I can to support you, Godwoken. I will pray for you. I think you'll need it. Don't underestimate the power of true prayer. This is a place of incredible power where a single prayer holds the weight of thousands. Your heart and soul will fill as quickly as they're drained. Consider it a taste of your divine future. Prayer will enrich you and your disciples will empower you, strengthen you and trust you in all ways to do only what is right. Of course, it's up to you whether or not to listen. I know how I'd respond, but you do you. Malady wearily chuckles to herself, then bows her head in a show of unexpected but sincere reverence. Looks like my investments paid off after all. You've shown me kindness in the face of my sins. My worship is the least I can offer. Now go. Rivalon needs a new divine. Dallas told me about you. You must be as hard as diamonds and twice as bright to have come so far. Your divine welcomes you. Surprise! Lucian frowns at the figure, then bestows a benevolent smile upon you. All that you know of him flashes across the panorama of your mind. You open your mouth to speak. I underestimated you, Godwoken. You have proven to be a formidable foe. You have my respect. Respect, indeed. Lucian's gaze rests upon you and goes through you. He takes your measure entirely. Lucian, we should tell the Godwoken the truth. Yes, I agree. It is time we dropped our masks. Dallis nods, then reaches for the sides of her head. Where there was one face, suddenly there are four. She takes off the mask of the shapeshifter. A skull is revealed, bejeweled, and ancient as the void. I am eternal. Surprise, surprise. Fear not, Godwoken. Dallas is on the side of all that is good. She is helping me rid Rivalon of the influence of the Source. Listen to her. I shall tell you the tale as I told it to Lucian. Long ago, the Scholar Fane discovered that the veil between the world and the Void was made of Source. Our Seven Lords desired this power. Of course. Silence, slave. Our King forbade the Seven to reach for this power, but they didn't listen. Instead, they rebelled and sent the King and his people into the Void. With the source they stole from the veil, the seven created the races so they would have worshippers. During their lives, worshippers collect source. When they die, the gods feed from them. It's an ingenious system. Our souls are nothing but vats for the source hungry gods. The seven made a mistake. By taking its source, they tore a hole in the veil, and it is through this hole that the Void finds its way into our world. The Seven's lust for power let in the Void, 
Our goal is to close the hole they created, to restore the source to the veil. When we are done, there shall be no more source in the world. No more gods, no more worship, no more war, no more chaos, no more demons, no more Void Woken. Rivalon will have peace at last. My people cannot be allowed to return from the Void. They are tarnished. They are Void Woken. They can only bring chaos and death and... There is more, but she hesitates to share it. Then she decides that she must. I was but a child when the war started. The king, in his fury, separated my family and scattered us across the world to be... entombed. He did this because it was my father who gave the Seven the secret of the Veil, against the king's explicit instructions. Ironically, the king's punishment is what saved me from the Void. Only a very few Eternals escaped banishment. Myself, my mother, and my father. The scholar, Fane. I seek vengeance against the King and the Seven, and I offer my father the chance to atone for his sins. Dallas has her reasons, as you can see. I seek peace for Rivalon, and for myself. Her ambitions align with my own, and I always believed the goal justifies the means. During the war, the real Dallas found my tomb. I took her place and quickly realized that Lucian was the key to my vengeance. And I was the key to the salvation of Rivalon. While Dallas sought the Eteran, I started draining the gods of their source. Slurp, slurp, slurp. One more word from you and I shall use the leash. I had to hide from the gods. So I had the walls of this crypt equipped with Tenebrium and protections put in place. It worked. Everyone, even the gods, thought me dead. As divine, I was created, empowered to stop the void. I was the avatar of the Seven, their strength and their weakness. My bond to them allowed me to drain them of their source. Indirectly. And when the Death Fog was unleashed, many elves died. With fewer elves to worship him, Tyr Sandilius weakened. This gave the God King his first real foothold back in the world. To strengthen himself, he sent his Void Woken, the remnants of my people, to hunt down the sorcerers seeking to reclaim their source. We turned the appearance of Void Woken to our advantage. To fix the veil, all source needs to be removed from the world. Blaming the sorcerers for Voidwoken made them easier to capture. The Eteran now contains almost all of the source the Seven stole. Soon, we will be able to heal the veil. The Void shall be banished, and I, Lucian the Divine, shall return from the dead. A false divine, of course. I shall have no power. But the world will not know this. I shall demand peace, and we shall have it. The plan is almost complete. We have made so many sacrifices, Godwoken. All of us, of ourselves and those we love. One last sacrifice is required for the future of Rivalon. You must surrender your source. Decide. Be the true hero and give up your source, or be forced to submit, like a coward, like a slave. There is no other way. The source of the world is required to close the veil. All of the source. We only lack yours. Good. You understand. The world shall not know this. I shall return from the grave, a divine without power, yet all who desire power shall fear me. I shall carry the secret of my lack of divinity. Peace shall reign. As I say, one last sacrifice is required. Yours. 
We already had more than enough God Woken. Another sacrifice I was forced to make. Those beautiful people. I was as kind as I could be. I promise you that. Then let us proceed. Show some responsibility. Surrender your source. You'll be a hero. Everyone will know of the sacrifice you'll make. Your name will be synonymous with the survival of Rivalon. Don't let them do this to us. Good. Yes, very good. She raises what looks like a leash. A chuckle emerges from beneath the cloaked figure's hood. The chuckle becomes a guffaw, booming and hateful. Dallas flicks her wrist, and nothing happens. Surprise! 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 How? What? The leash is cut! A bright observation from a bilious imbecile. You know people often become sloppy when they're close to achieving their dreams. You left the leashing wand next to me, you stupid maggot. So accustomed had you become to me, pretending to be your slave. Kill him. Do shut up, you tedious buffoon. And don't look so surprised. As if I would allow a bone bag to enslave me. <laughs> me! Aren't you supposed to be the bright one? I am Bracchus Rex. I am the Source King. Yes. You remember, don't you? My weapons, my magic, my master scheme. For divinity! Or did you really think I'd play slavishly along with your ridiculous scheme, Dallas? Yes, I played my part of the servile stooge. But know this, it was only about the power of divinity. Kill him. Now. Too late, you moldering, blight-stained pigs. Grant me power, my ally. God King, I call on you! You would interrupt Bracchus Rex. You would interrupt the Source King! sends me a pet. What a fitting gift. Ruling the world with a bloody fist can be lonely. I needed a companion. Come to your father, my friend. Come to the Source King.
Gracchus Rex, the source king of legend, lies dead once more, perhaps even for good. Dallas groans and looks to you with weakened eyes. I have failed. The future of all that is rests on your shoulders. Listen, this is it. Again. And I want you to know I'm not putting up a fight, not against you. My revels are now ended. Yours are about to begin. I've had my vengeance, my life and my liberty. You helped me win them back. And then, when you told me you loved me, all of me awoke. All I want now is for this to end, to be by your side when we wage the final battle. And long, long after. you do and I love you too now kiss me you kiss each other passionately ready to face the darkest dark you think back on your journey here on all you have seen on how the magisters hunted sorcerers who committed horrible crimes and purged sorcerers who only tried to heal the sick you think of how the Eternals unleashed void woken horror on the world in an effort to reclaim it you look at the source around you you know that within your reach is divinity. You think of what you could do with such power. Seeing the vast quantity of source in front of you, you think you should be able to handle a couple of Void Woken. You think of your personal problems. It's time to make a choice. A choice that decides the fate of Revelon and of you. Where do you stand? After all that you have been through, and all that you have done, all that you have become, the Aetiran lies in front of you. Divinity is yours to take, or to sacrifice. What you do next decides your own fate, and the future of the world. What shall you do with divinity? So it ended. A tale that began with my own ill-fated attempt to rid the world of the God Woman. Dallas the Hammer, the secret eternal, purged the God Woken and used the source to close the veil to the void. The world was saved. Statues in memory of the God Woken who sacrificed their source were erected all across River. Forgotten. The half demon malady took pity on the soulless, god woken, silent monks and brought them to the Hall of Echoes. There, from the scraps of their souls that remained, she restored them to life. Sorcerers no more, they lived out the rest of their lives, freed of the burden of being a god woken, freed from the weight of the world. As for me, the God Woken sacrifice severed the link that bound the sworn to the God King, and I was finally free. To atone for my sins, I spent the rest of my days taking care of the sick and elderly, telling the story of the God Woken, that the world may never forget the greatest heroes Rivalon had ever.